if you're a fan of canned tomato soup like my husband then you are going to lose your mind once you taste this fresh homemade roasted tomato soup there is nothing like it okay and of course we're serving up some grilled cheese sticks on the side let's go we're gonna start with some vine ripened tomatoes i'm gonna cut them in half you can really use any kind of tomato that you want to but yeah i got these little medium sized fine tomatoes i'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil onto my baking sheet kind of spread it around a little bit and then we're gonna place my tomatoes cut side down onto my little baking sheet next i'm gonna move on to my cherry tomatoes okay i'm just gonna cut these in half you could probably leave these whole i never have before though but yeah i just go ahead and cut them in half just like that Okay, that looks great and now we're gonna place these on our baking sheet as well this is so easy you guys this soup is like so easy and it's hearty and it's filling and it's good it's so good okay now i'm gonna add on my little white onion you can use yellow onion i don't like a lot of onion in my tomato soup you know but yeah if you want more go ahead and add more you can even add on some peppers and carrots and all that kind of stuff there's my garlic gotta have that garlic we're gonna place this all in the pan we're gonna bake this 375 for about 35 to 45 minutes when it comes out of the oven there it is beautiful i'm gonna go ahead and remove the skin from the tomatoes this part was fun i don't know why it's just like fun to peel the skin off it's like peeling paint i love it okay so now i'm just gonna place this into my blender all right just dump everything into that blender those onions were smelling so good oh my gosh so good all right and there's my little girl i'm gonna plop my little garlic cloves in there just like that all right, that looks great. So now we're just going to go ahead and add in some basil. You can add more if you like a lot of basil in your soup, some oregano in there as well. And we're just going to blend it all up. If you want it to be a little bit chunky, you don't have to, you know, blend it up that much. But yeah, whatever consistency you like. I kind of like mine a little bit chunky like this right here. Okay, so now I'm going to add in some chicken broth. Oh my gosh, please don't use water. I know a lot of recipes use water. Don't do that. No. Or you can even use vegetable broth, but don't use water, okay? All right, so I was making this, and then my husband came inside and was like, I don't like mine chunky, so I put it back into the food product, into the blender, and I blended it some more. So, yeah, there it is. Okay, so now my favorite part, we're going to bring this soup to life, because right now it tastes very boring, okay? So we're going to bring it to life. We're going to add some sugar, and the sugar is going to kind of balance out the acidity of the tomatoes. Acidity. Acidity. Oh, my God, really? And then we're going to add in some black pepper. I like a lot of black pepper, and next comes smoked sea salt oh my gosh i love smoked sea salt with tomato soup it just tastes so good any kind of smoked salt okay and now i have some parsley for some color and then you can also add in some um basil some more basil if you want to okay so that looks great and be sure to taste it taste it and then tweak it to your liking i didn't put any measurements for the spices on my block because really it's what you like i like my soup to be kind of smoky a little bit salty a tad bit sweet you know a little bit peppery that's what i like okay so just get it tasting how you like it all right okay that looks good we're done we're done moving on to our grilled cheese i have some mayonnaise right there yes duke's mayonnaise okay i don't use butter for my grilled cheese not this time i'm gonna use mayonnaise and then we're gonna add some little um what's that that's garlic powder okay go ahead and dump in that garlic powder into your mayonnaise stir it on up just like that and then we're going to add some parsley for color, make it look really pretty and stuff, all right? We're making kind of like some garlicky grilled cheese sticks. They're really good. So I'm just going to lather on this mayonnaise here and then place it, um, going to place it down on my griddle. Then we're going to add on my cheese, shredded mozzarella cheese, smoked cheese, whatever kind of cheese you want, all right? And then we're going to go ahead and place the tops on, just like this. The one that bottom is nice and golden. Go ahead and flip it over, all right? I like to press it down and kind of get it flat a little bit. Mm-hmm. And now they are done. Go ahead and remove them from the griddle. And then we're going to cut these up into three little sticks here. Now we have some little dunkers. And they are good with the soup. Oh my god, you guys. It goes so good with tomato soup. It's ridiculous, you know. And there's our soup. It is ready. But it is missing one thing you have to add. You have to promise when you add it. Heavy cream. Oh, yes, honey. That heavy cream gets it with that tomato. It's just oh, so good oh my god it's so good and you can garnish it with some basil and then just go ahead and enjoy this was one of the best lunches i've had in a long time we love me and ethan sat here and ate this entire bowl it was so good you guys but yeah don't forget if you want this recipe go to my blog at divasandcook.com thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe later